This lesson teaches you how to use the various mailing lists and news groups on the internet. You will learn to find, subscribe and unsubscribe to mailing lists. You also will learn to find news groups, post messages to news groups and respond to news group messages posted by others. Mailing lists provide a way for a group to electronically exchange messages among themselves. To receive email from a mailing list, you must first subscribe to it. Once you are on a list, you will begin receiving all mail messages sent to the list. To discontinue receiving email from the list, you simply unsubscribe. You can both subscribe and unsubscribe to mailing lists by sending a simple email message to a server known as a listserv, which has the list to which you want to subscribe or unsubscribe. Because subscribing, unsubscribing, receiving or replying to mail on a mailing list are all conducted via regular internet email, there is no additional special software to install or learn. Passive mailing lists send out mail from a list administrator or group founder to all list members. This is the simplest type of mailing list and involves the least amount of mail. An example of a passive mailing list is an electronic magazine or newsletter. Passive mailing lists are easier to set up and administer than active mailing lists because mail goes from a single individual to many recipients. It is just an elaborate type of distribution list. Active mailing lists are those that receive messages from any list member and distribute them to all members. Active mailing lists generally process more mail and use a tool called a mail exploder to accept messages sent to the list by individual subscribers and to forward them to all the members of the list. There are two types of active mailing lists, moderated and unmoderated. They usually differ in the amount, type and focus of the mail being distributed. In an unmoderated list, all email sent to the list is forwarded automatically without human intervention. As a result, unmoderated mailing lists often contain a lot of junk mail messages that are not of interest to the majority of the subscribers on the mailing list. In a moderated list, the mail is first screened by a human moderator and is forwarded only if it is considered appropriate for the subscribers. Moderated lists are generally more focused than unmoderated ones and usually have smaller message volume. It is also much less likely for flaming or argumentative personal messages to appear in moderated mailing lists since all submissions to the list are filtered. List servers are the programs used to subscribe and unsubscribe people from mailing lists. However, many list servers can also search through old messages for specific information, send out updates of standard files to those who require them, and provide information about who else has subscribed to a particular mailing list. List servers require that you use special commands in the body of the message that you send when subscribing, unsubscribing, or using the special features. If your email program automatically appends a signature to the end of your message, it is advisable to turn this feature off when engaged in these special communications. It is desirable, however, to have your signature on when posting regular messages to a list. Here is a table of mailing list terms. Listing of the available mailing lists can be found on FTP servers, Gopher servers, and on the web servers. There are different kinds of mailing list servers. Fortunately, new services have appeared on the web that allow you to search for archive lists of many types and topics. You must first subscribe to a mailing list in order to begin receiving or sending messages. The process of subscribing and unsubscribing is easy. All you need is an email package. Once you have subscribed, you will receive in your email box some information from the list server about the list. Then all messages posted to the list will appear in your mailbox. Responding to mail from a mailing list is similar to responding to any email message. The reply feature of your email application will insert the list address in the Mail To field. Note that this is not the address you used to subscribe to the list. That was the administrative address. This new address is for the list itself. The first message that you received from the list server will contain all the information you need. You must remember that every reply will be sent to everyone on the list. 
If you wish to reply to an individual, you must compose a new message with the individual's email address which you will find in the header of the message. A news group is a very popular internet resource. News groups are areas on the internet where people discuss particular subjects. News groups are similar to mailing lists, but whereas mailing lists send email messages to you directly, news groups require you to access and browse them. A news group is similar to a town meeting or other public gathering. If you do not attend, you do not participate or get information. Mailing lists are like magazines or newspaper subscriptions. The information comes right to you. Unlike mailing lists, you need special software called a news reader to view messages in news groups. In the Unix environment, there are several programs you can use to subscribe and unsubscribe to news groups and to read, post and reply to news group messages. These include NN, RN, TRN and TIN. You also have many graphic and news readers for all types of computers. The latest web browsers also include news readers as a part of the browser. There are thousands of different news groups and the list expands daily. When you access a news group, you see the names of those who have posted messages, the subject of the messages and how many replies have been made to a particular message. You can select a message and follow the replies to view the thread of a conversation. Join in by posting your own reply or post an entirely new message. Common news group terms include Browsing through news groups is a good way to begin to appreciate how many topics are discussed. Not all providers carry all the news group groups because there are so many. Netscape Collabra, the news reader component of Netscape Communicator, does provide a way to view all the news groups that are available on a particular news server. Be warned that the first time you do this, it is likely to take the server a few minutes to send you the entire list of news groups. Once you view the list of all available news groups, you can subscribe to the ones that interest you. Subscribing to news groups is not the same as subscribing to mailing lists. The subscription simply creates a shortcut to your favorite news groups. Instead of wading through the list of all news groups, you can go directly to the groups that you want to participate in. Most messages or posts to a news group are not in the form of first generation posts but are a reply to another post of an entire thread of posts. After reading a post, you can decide if you want to reply to it. Remember, replies can be viewed by the entire news group, not just the person to whom you are replying. It is important that, prior to posting to a news group, you monitor the kinds of messages that are posted to make sure what you had in mind for a reply is appropriate. Following the postings of a news group or mailing list without posting any messages to it is called lurking. It's a good way of ensuring that you make proper use of these resources.